Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So a uh, guy I know was asking me, he's been asking me uh, for the past couple of days about this hip orientation bias. Uh, so today I decided to break down and uh, look into it for him because I wasn't 100% sure. But upon investigation, I can be 100% sure because I checked, I looked through all the modified curves and this hip orientation bias curve is not being modified inside of uh, this animation blueprint which means that the only time it's being uh, uh, mo modified is from the animations themselves so you'll see hip orientation bias if you come over here to your animation examples overlays and you look at all your poses uh, for example the the bow pose has hip orientation bias and it's modifying it right here based on uh, the aiming states for the bow but for the pistol for example if you load that one up you'll see that it's the opposite it's on when he's not aiming but it's off when he is aiming and uh, you can go through here on all of these and you'll see it's doing the same something similar on this one so I think what it is is if it's a one-handed weapon then it'll be on when he's not aiming and it'll be off when he is aiming if it's a two-handed weapon it'll be off when he is aiming and it'll be on when he is aiming you see so for example the torch should be on when he's uh, not aiming it and off when he is aiming it so these are kind of aiming poses, I guess. No, okay. So he is he is turning it on when he is aiming it. So it could be hand specific. The bow is a left, uh, is a right-handed one, I think. Let's see. Maybe it's dependent on the hand that they're using. So, he's holding it with his left hand. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that, to be honest with you. I would have to look into it in more depth, but I can tell you that they're being used on the overlay states uh, for the poses. So, the okay, so the binoculars, the barrel the box all of those it's only the it's only the bow the m4a1 and the pistol and the torch that are using this as far as i can tell i could be wrong but so if you come back in here you'll see that where the the only thing that's using the hip orientation bias are the priority two transition rules between move left forward and move left back move right forward and move right back you'll see that the priority rules are using hip orientation bias and depending on the value that that it's set to when they're transitioning trying to transition from these states uh, it will so if they're in the move left to back and then the hip orientation value becomes greater than 0.5 it'll transition to the move right forward as long as the other uh, rules are also true now also I may as well point this out that when the when you transition into a rule it fires it fires an event hip right forward for move right forward hips right back for move right back back move B for move B or move back so on and so forth it does that for all of those now these are right here inside of uh, the event graph and these values are only being used to plant the feet so it's you it's being used to choose a pose To blend in with this for planting the feet 
Now I've went over this briefly before, but I never actually, uh, whenever I was recreating it, but I never actually covered this part of it because we didn't use it because this has to do with like, uh, strafing and we didn't, I, when I recreated it, I didn't recreate the strafing system. So if you remember the evaluates, uh, or just, for example, evaluate time 0.233. So if we come to here and we look at this number right here, 0.23, somewhere, somewhere around, uh, around here is when it would be blending this if the tracked hip orientation was not right back or RB. So if this is not set to RB, then it will choose this by default as pose number three to blend in. And if it's not left back, then it'll choose left forward at point two. Again, point two is probably around right here where the feet position uh, curve changes. And it'll choose that one as opposed to to blend. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, ask down below. If you found this helpful, uh, make sure to like. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.